We're at Embedded World 2024 with Embeetle IDE. And if you've been watching the Electromaker channel for a while, you probably are familiar with that name because Robin did an Electromaker Educator video showing how this all-in-one IDE for MCUs can make it very easy to get up and started with a project. Now, um, I am joined here by Johan from Embeetle. Um, what is it about Embeetle that makes it special? What is the design idea behind it? The idea is that we want to make it simple to get started with embedded programming. Existing IDE is much too complicated. We want you to get started in 10 minutes, starting from a PC with nothing installed to a blinking LED on your target board. Absolutely. And, uh, and the thing that uh, I've had a little bit of hands-on experience with the IDE, and I think it's fair to say one of the things that uh, Embeetle does quite well is that everything you need is right there. Once you have set up a project using the wizard, you have your code, you have your build window, you have your debugger, they're all just right there to use. And it's all something that's quite easy to get started with. And there's, there's quite a wide variety of example code for all the um, supported boards as well, isn't there? Exactly, right. Yes, yes we support uh, boards from, I guess, about 15 different microcontroller vendors right now. Mm. And like you say, if, if everything's there, mm -hmm. if you transfer your project to your colleague who doesn't have everything installed, mm -hmm. open the project and it will just tell you, this tool is missing, can I download it for you? Yeah. Press OK and it's there. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely, I remember from the Electromaker Educator video, which by the way will be uh, linked underneath this video. If you'd like to see the M Beetle IDE in action, Robin did a full walkthrough of the IDE, including how to get it up and running with a RISC-V microcontroller, and shows all of this in action. Um, and as, as uh, Johan just said, if you are missing something in a library from someone else's project, it will download it for you automatically. However, one thing that is new since we spoke to M Beetle last, uh, last time is that they are now collaborating with a MCU company, which is a new name to me, but that seemed to have a very exciting line. And I'm going to speak to Christoph briefly about uh, Jihai. Am I pronouncing that right? Yes. Okay, so what, uh, what, uh, what is Jihai and why are they such a nice match to the Mbeetle IDE in your philosophy? So Jihai is a MCU manufacturer mm -hmm. and they provide a wide range of MCUs for several applications. They have um, like industrial control for automotive, for motor control. Um, now even for the automotive, uh, line, they have a specific line of microcontrollers, the G32A, which is ISO 262, um, 26, 262. ISO 262 yeah, yeah, compliant, yeah, 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 yeah. So um, at this moment, we uh, support, we integrated uh, five of their microcontrollers into Ambital IDE, but in the coming months and weeks, uh, we are going to integrate much more Absolutely, because yeah. we just started our collaboration. Recently. Absolutely. And one of the things you said before we started recording really uh, grabbed my attention because um, one of the things that has been a, a regular complaint to uh, people who are maybe getting started with certain different microcontrollers is that um, the way that you actually interact with them can be quite complicated. Yeah. Hardware ab abstraction layers, in theory, are there to make things easier. A lot of the times they don't. Um, but uh, uh, before we started, you were both mentioning how the idea of simplicity in the IDE, that Mbeetle IDE, is something that you've seen in the code examples and the way that Gihai, uh, Gihai sorry, uh, put their code sound together yeah so as you say correctly hardware abstraction layers are often layers on top of layers on top of layers and making it very hard to know what the MCU is actually doing yeah. and what we noticed is that Jihai has a very different approach to this um, their sample projects are very clean very uh, concise so it's it's really easy to to know what your MC, MCU is actually doing and that's something we really appreciate about their MCUs. And this is also how the, their philosophy matches perfectly with our philosophy on, as an IDE developer. We develop an IDE that is clean and efficient and easy to use. That's so the, the two match very well. Absolutely. And, um, uh, and as previously mentioned, when we covered M uh, Mbeetle in the past, the Mbeetle IDE is something that you can try for free. Uh, you can get it from the Mbeetle website. There will be a link to that in the description of this video. If you want to see it in action, we have an Electromaker Educator video that takes you through an entire sample project getting up and started with it. And if you want to learn more about the Jihai product line, there'll be a link to that in the description. And of course, if you do are, are interested in trying out any of their boards, you will find them supported in the Mbeetle IDE. Thank you so much for giving me your time today. Have a, good re have a great rest of your conference. <laughs> You. you cannot just try the ID for mm -hmm. free. It's entirely free also for commercial use. Oh, I see. I got that wrong. Embeetle uh, ID entirely free for commercial use. I messed that up. <laughs> but yeah, have a great rest of your conference. Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm.